Hey, how's it going? Uh, you're in ConductorElectronic.com. I'm just messing around with my Roland TB3. It's a touch baseline uh, synthesizer, step sequencer, and something came up for me the other day that uh, I had to restore. I had basically recorded some stuff on here that I didn't want, and it was too much work to try and get back the old recordings. So I have restored... Um, old previously saved files so I'm just going to show you how to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start by turning the TB3 off. Now that it's off, I'm going to hold down this play slash stop button and I'm going to turn it back on. And You're going to see when it turns on that uh, the panel, the LED screen here, which is touch sensitive, uh, it's going to start pulsing, the light is going up and down instead of just the flat light color. So we're ready to plug in the USB. I've got this USB uh, type B end and the type A is running directly into my computer. I'm just going to plug that in. And once you plug it in, you'll see on your desktop, there it is, this TB3 file pops up. You open it up and there's two files in here. There's a backup file and there's a restore file. So if I just drag this backup file onto my desktop, and I can save it with a different name if I want or the date that I backed it up, but that's on my desktop now. And like you can see, that's all of the different files that are saved on my TB3, the way that I've recorded them, or if it's uh, right out of the box, then these are the factory settings. So. You can just close that, and that's all you have to do. I can just X out of here. I'm going to properly eject this, put it into the trash, and it'll disappear. And now I can just turn my power off, and I'll unplug the USB, and I'll turn it back on. And you can't tell by looking here, but you can go back to your computer, and you've got this backup file, so you can open it up, and there's all the files that we've just backed up. Okay, next I'm going to show you how you can uh, do something similar, which is restore files that you have backed up in case you need to uh, add them back into the TB3. So same steps as before. We're going to hold the play stop button and turn the power on while we're holding the play stop. And again, you can see the light dimming up and down. So at this point, we plug in the USB. So same steps that we've made from doing the backup, now we're going to do the restore. So you open up, you see this, you open that up. So instead of dragging the backup onto our desktop, let's say we want to restore the backup that we already have. We take it, drag it into restore, and that's it. So now again, we can just X out of this, drag this down to eject it, Turn the power off on the TB3, eject the USB, very similar steps for both of these procedures. So last thing here, when you get your TB3 and you take it out of the box, it's brand new, it's got factory settings, there's stuff already in here so you can just start playing with it right away. Um, but maybe you've bought it used, you don't want somebody else's recordings that they've done, or maybe you've recorded something that you don't want, you want to bring it back to the factory settings anyways. So we do our factory reset, and once again, uh, instead of holding down this play stop button like the backup and restores, we're going to hold down real time record and turn the power on while we're holding it. As soon as you do that, you can see here it says RST, like reset, in the LED screen. And this is flashing. So at this point, if you hit this flashing button, you're going to reset the entire machine to the way that it was brand new. If you decide now that you don't want to do that, this is your one and only chance to just turn the power off and you haven't reset anything. You've done nothing basically. So, but let's say, okay, I'm going to do it for real this time. Real time record, hold it down, turn the power on. 
There's the reset. There's the flashing button. This is the reset. Okay. So it's uh, CMP is complete. Now the reset's complete. So I'm just going to turn it off, turn it back on. And when we turn it back on now, it's set to the factory settings. It even went to uh, sound A1, the very first sound. So it's completely like rebooted as if it's brand new. So anyways, there's a few things useful. Uh, you don't want to lose the stuff that you've recorded, or maybe you want to delete a bunch of stuff that you have recorded. So that's how you can back up things, restore things, and then reset it to the factory presets uh, with the Roland TV3. Check it out. I think it's a cool machine. It's conductorelectronic.com. Ring the bell. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.